Hello all, welcome to Mekato channel. From this session, we'll start our new course on HTML. Most of the comments I got in YouTube and most of my friends also requested me to do HTML course. So I decided uh, to do HTML course for you people only. So please subscribe and support me and it will boost me to do more videos on this uh, HTML. So after this course, we'll start a CSS course also and later also we'll do JavaScript. If you want those courses, please like and subscribe and share it to the, your friends also okay so without delay let's get into this uh, session okay so what is html html stands for hypertext markup language so what is hypertext hypertext is the text displayed on a computer which refers to other text or images that the user can access so what we can do with the html so we can publish documents text uh, headlines images etc we can do uh, we can uh, publish our portfolios and we can publish our business uh, uh, templates and we can also publish our uh, uh, articles or uh, we can launch we can host our educational websites also or not we can do everything in the browser with the html okay so not only these things we can also create forms to collect user data and also include we can include videos and uh, audio clips flash movies etc inside uh, these html document and also we can access online information via hyperlinks also so we can do everything with these uh, html right now we get a clarity about how what is hypertext now let us see what is a markup language so what is markup language markup language is a computer language which is used to write, a, write in between tags to define elements within a tag so i don't think so you can understand directly if you are a new to this course okay so i will give an example to you uh, let's see an example so this is an example of a paragraph tags in between the less than and greater than symbol we include an alphabet uh, letter p call it uh, element it, in html it, we will call it as an element so this is a this uh, p element refers to the uh, paragraph tag okay uh, whatever the content we in our daily life uh, we will write a para, in a paragraph format right so uh, if you want to write it in the browser so we need to include that content in between the paragraph tags okay so this is just an example of uh, what is the tags there are more elements and what more tags in the um, there are more elements uh, uh, we can see in this course so let's discuss about the topics we will cover in this uh, lecture okay so what about the top we already discussed about the introduction of html right so next we start we will go to uh, create our first two html document and i'll teach you how to create a html document and then after we will see html setup and then after we'll see basic syntax of html okay so without delay let's see how to create a html document here are the some of the text editors which are used to create a HTML document. Most of the times uh, we'll use these uh, text editors only. So uh, we can use Notepad and Notepad++. Uh, these are the two inbuilt uh, uh, softwares which are available with the Windows and we can download Sublime Text Editor. This is a uh, um, lightweight software, light software and we can, use, we can also use brackets. Uh, in most of the companies and professionals also use uh, Eclipse and Visual Studio. These are the very user friendly uh, text editors and coming to Visual Studio there are lots of extensions which are available with Visual Studio and this is the main advantages to the Visual Studio. I'll suggest uh, Visual Studio and throughout these courses I'll use the Visual Studio and uh, I'll show you how to download Visual Studio code. Okay. Now we'll see how to create a HTML document. So for, first of all, we need to create a folder where we want to save all the uh, HTML files. I'm, I have created a folder here. You can see it here. Okay. So I have created already HTML tutorials folder. So I'm opening it and in this HTML tutorial folder, we need to create a text file, right? So right click on this and select text file okay i'm naming it as a html1 file okay so i'm opening it after opening the text file we need to go to this file and click on save as 
and then after we need to give an extension of dot html and in save as type drop down select all files okay make sure that encoding it as a utf8 okay Sa click on save uh, after clicking on this save we will see that it will create a html file so let me save it first okay now you can find you didn't find any changes in this uh, text file right so i am closing this uh, file now you can see here right there is a html uh, file was created and if we click on this it will directly uh, open the whatever the default browser you have chosen it will open that browser and you have you can see that our file path also in the search bar so so now you can see on the screen that we didn't uh, uh, mention anything or we didn't write anything in the text file right so that's why it is showing empty now let me write it for you right click on the html whatever the whatever the file which we have created with the extension of .html it will show it to, uh, as a uh, browser uh, icon now right click on this and I am trying to open it with a text file ok so I am using notepad here we can use notepad plus plus also so now I am writing html syntax basic syntax so uh, let us see how to write a hello world in html ok initially we need to start with this uh, with the talk type html tag and it uh, tells the browser that we are using html5 content ok so now doc type html so ok then after we need to create a html tags it is a html open tag after opening the html tag we are using a slash uh, to close the html Tag and it indicates that it is a HTML and tag. Now I can I think uh, you can see the whatever the text on the display right. So now after creating HTML tags, we need to create in between the HTML tag uh, a head tag and body tag. So here I'm opening a head tag and I'm closing it a head tag. Okay, then. I'm opening I'm creating a body tag so and I'm closing a body tag the use of head tags is the use of head tags is that uh, whatever the content we written in these uh, head tags it will not display on the browser browser page okay it will show it, it will uh, act as a metadata okay in head tag we will write a title and we will write a uh, uh, script tags and we can, we can we we will also write uh, whatever style sheet link we uh, style sheet links and uh, any font of any any google fonts any bootstrap links any any other links so whatever the metadata also we have to include all, all over the data we will include in this head tag only okay so now we use uh, in body tag whatever the data or content we want to show or we will write that uh, content in body tag only so in body tag i am writing hello hello my control ok this is our channel right so i am saving it control s and let us see whether it is uh, displaying it or not just double click on the icon so just double click on the icon you will uh, direct it to the page so you can you can see here that hello mecatro this is our uh, first html code okay successfully done and you can see there is a dot x dot html extension right by default it will give you uh, i mean after creating a file uh, whatever the file name by default it will show you that file name remember this thing and it will help you in the object to offer html okay now let us start downloading the visual studio from google chrome for this go to the browser here i am using chrome browser so okay i am opening that chrome browser then after in search box click on visual studio code so download and 
you can see uh, the first link which appears on the screen click on that link and it will direct to the uh, visual studio interface the download interface okay now we can see we can download uh, visual studio code for windows uh, linux and mac os also here i'm using 64 bit interface all i'm clicking on this uh, system installer or user installer it's a uh, it's your choice so i'm using here i'm uh, clicking on uh, 64 bit okay it will redirect, redirect to this page and there you can see that uh, there is a download started in below okay so it will take a few seconds only uh, depends upon your network uh, speed okay uh, after downloading it go to the folder and you can see here that you click on it click on I accept all the agreements click on next create a desktop icon if you want then select that and open with the code item don't need, need not uh, change anything in these uh, below others content uh, click on next and uh, click install to continue with the installation or click back uh, if you want to review or change any settings so uh, you can press uh, install it preparing to install it will install okay it will take a few seconds to install okay now everything is finished don't launch it i'm not going to launch it okay i'm clicking you we can complete setup is done now we are going to use that setup okay you can see there is a visual studio icon appears on the screen right so previously we did not have this icon in the screen so just click on it open the visual studio code by double clicking on this after clicking on the visual studio code the interface uh, initially shows this uh, page okay so this is a basic page you know, file open file open folder you can also directly connect with the uh, git repository and you can whatever the content you are typing on html you can uh, uh, not to double click on the file previously we have done write it we we are not going to do that uh, in this uh, lecture so just we are using this go live okay uh, if we click on this uh, go live it will uh, read uh, reflect to the browser and it will uh, re, uh, it will uh, refresh that uh, content and it will show whatever the changes we are done in the in this co in the code so we already uh, created a one file folder right so open that folder so you can see html folder i'm selecting that folder now you can see that uh, whatever the content uh, hello megatro we have done it here so we will get that uh, you can see that whatever the file we have created in that folder uh, html tutorials html1 so you can see that we we are fetching the data into these uh, directly so whatever the, you, you can also create a new files and you can also create a new folder and everything you can do with the uh, visual studio code so you can see there is a lot of extensions available for uh, us to run in this uh, type html so click on uh, html boilerplate html snippets so html css support whatever the extension you want you can uh, you can install in visual studio code it will help you to write the code very easily so we are just beginners right i am not going to install anything uh, now so in in future lectures may uh, I, I will show you how to uh, install and how whatever the uh, different extensions we want uh, to install uh, for our code okay if you like this video please us uh, please uh, click on like and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos so please comment below and uh, it will boost me to do more lectures for you and this is completely free for you only and uh, i'm going to do these uh, videos for you only so please support me okay thank you thank you all see you in next lecture